Okay, students, to continue with our demonstration, what I've done here is I've set up a Excel file. I'm going to call it Absorbent Spectrum Demo. And I have already taken the data that we collected and you saw in the video, and I have placed it in here into the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to do now the Absorbent Spectrum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting the uh, two columns of data. And then I am going to go up here to where it says insert. And I'm going to look for all the charts. And in the charts, I'm going to look for the ones that have the scatter plots or scatter charts. There's a little arrow there to the side and I can click on it. And I'm going to choose the scatter plot that says scatter with smooth lines and markers. And as you can see, the program has already set up my graph. Now, I have to now format it. So for example, for here, for the title, this is going to be an absorbance spectrum. Of very this solution. Now uh, let's make it a little more grammatically correct here. And now we need to add some labels here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on the chart, and I'm going to go to this plus sign here that says chart elements. And as you can see, I want it to show me the axis tiles. See it there? So when I click there, I'm going to see the axis tiles, and now I'm going to format them. Notice that in my y-axis, I am plotting the uh, absorbance. And absorbance, we typically don't have units for it. And in the bottom, it's going to show us the wavelength. Make sure that you do indicate the units for that length and nanometers. And there is your plot. Uh, when you submit this to your uh, lab report, uh, you have two options. You can submit this whole sheet here, which is fine. Or if you want, you can simply select the graph and then go back here to file and say print or in my case, I can save it as a PDF, but you're gonna print and it'll show just the absorbance spectrum of your periodist solution, all right? And you can tell there, based on this plot, that your wavelength of maximum absorbance that you chose is probably correct, 630 nanometers. Okay, I'm gonna come back here, let you take one last look at the graph. And of course, the one that you will do for your activity is not going to be this periodist compound. It's going to be a solution of cobalt-2 chloride. Thank you.